Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome to class. Today we're going to do a short sequence that will help to strengthen the knees. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to start using a brick between the inner knees. So we'll be placing the brick between the inner knees. I've got the narrow width there, but you're sitting on a chair, sitting on the front edge of the chair, squeezing in against the brick. Bring the feet in closer to the chair so the shins are on a diagonal and the knees are over the toes. We're going to lean forward to stand up. If you feel not so strong, you may want to have yourself close to the wall or another chair that you can lean into and press into to help you stand up. Otherwise, hands can sit on the waist and we're leaning forward, the torso leans forward, squeeze the brick and lift the hips up off the chair and come to stand all the way up. We have this focus on squeezing the brick so that the knees are not rolling out or rolling in. We're intending to keep the knees tracking the same direction as the toes. Do make sure your feet are pointing forward, they're not turning out. Let's come down the same way we came out. Bend the knees, you can have a look down, see that yes, the knees are tracking the same direction as the toes. Now we're leaning forward, so we get through this halfway point where the shins and the spine are in the same diagonal line. And then we sit back down, you've got to trust that the chair is there. Sit onto the chair. And let's go again, roll the shoulders back, chest lifts, inhale. Exhale as you lean forward. Press into the heels as well as the balls of the feet. Stand all the way up. Inhale and exhale. Bend the knees, squeeze the brick and as you descend the buttocks, keep the navel lifting up and drawing back towards the back abdominal wall. We're trying to control the movement. So as we slow the movements down, we can refine our awareness and our strength. Inhale, exhale, lean forward, push into the feet to stand up. Inhale and exhale, slowly, slowly, slowly. How slow can you go as you descend the hips, descend the buttocks to the chair? If you feel capable of a little more of a challenge, bring the arms forward in front of you, arms parallel to the floor, inhale, exhale, lean the arms forward, stand all the way up and raise the arms up. And then as you come back down, bend the knees. And again, you can bring the arms back parallel to the floor, coming to sit down all the way back to the chair, inhale. Exhale, lean forward, arms forward, and you can take the arms all the way up. Tailbone down, navel up, and then bend the knees. The arms can come back down parallel to the floor as you descend the buttocks. And then let's have a rest for a moment. You can remove the brick, relax the legs, relax the arms. Let's turn the chair around now. So we've got the back of the chair facing us and uh, whether you want to use a brick for one knee to come down onto, we're going to step back to bring one knee to the floor and step forward. So we're now focusing on the strength of one leg only. The brick can help because it lifts the floor up to us. I'll be demonstrating without a brick, I want more of a challenge. So we're holding the top of the chair and we'll start with the left leg striding back. So we bend both knees, left leg strides back, bring the toes onto the floor and this may be as far as you go, that's fine. If you want to try bringing your knee down onto the brick, you can have the brick there ready for the left knee, otherwise the left knee can come all the way to the floor. We have the chair for stability but we've also got it there to help us if we need to push into the chair to stand up. 
We want to rely on the strength of this right leg. Watch that the knee doesn't roll out. We want to strengthen the inner knee particularly, so keep that knee tracking the same direction as the toes. Toes point forward. Inhale, exhale as you push into the feet to stand up. Left leg forward, inhale, bend the knees as you exhale, right leg strides back and then we're slowly bending the knees so that the right knee can come down to the floor or maybe it's to a brick. And again, just notice this left leg. So you can look at your knee as you're coming to stand up. Watch that it doesn't flare out to the side or roll in to the, to the other side of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, push into the feet to help you stand up. Now, if you're feeling strong, you may be able to manage without the chair. The chair's always there if you need it. Inhale. Bend the knees as you exhale. Step the left leg back. Bend your knees. Bring that left knee to the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Lean forward. Stand up. Other leg. Inhale. Bend the knees. Stride the right leg back. Bending that right knee to the floor if you can manage. Keep the outer left hip descending. Inhale and exhale to stand all the way up. Now if the knees are weak, that can be challenging to try and keep the knees tracking the same direction as the toes. You can always come back to working both legs in unison with a brick between the legs. And we're gonna do that now with the back against the wall. Take your mat into the wall, have your brick ready, and step the feet out from the wall as you squeeze the brick between the inner legs, the inner knees, and narrow the feet to the width of the brick and slide down the wall. Now if the, the legs are not so strong, the thighs can be on the diagonal, but if you are feeling strong, you can perhaps take the feet out a little more and bring your thighs more parallel to the floor. But squeeze the brick. Lift the front pelvic bones up, lower back to the wall, pin the shoulders to the wall, press the back of the hands to the wall and grip the brick. Inner knees roll down. Watch that your feet aren't turning out or in. Keep the feet tracking parallel to each other. Breathe smoothly. Then when you've had enough, press the hands into the wall and push yourself off the wall to come out of the pose. We can practice Utkatasana, the powerful pose, sometimes it's known as the chair pose, with the back of the hips on the wall. Not the spine, however, because we're going to angle the spine forward a little. Let's bring the brick between the thighs. You can step the feet in a little closer to the wall so that when you bend the knees, you're creating a diagonal line through the shins, diagonal line through the thighs, and then a diagonal line through the torso. Lift the navel up. If it's too strong for you with the arms above the head, keep your hands on the waist. If you can manage, however, take the arms up, lift the chest. Squeeze the brick. And then you can press the hands to the wall to help you come to stand all the way up. While we have our mat at the wall, we're going to practice Virabhadrasana 2, warrior pose number 2, using two bricks. If we have one brick flat on the floor, that's going to be for our foot to stand on. So we've got some elevation underneath the front foot. And then we're going to use this narrow position of the brick between the knee and the wall. So the knee is set in place. So I'm going to turn my back to the camera as I bring my right foot up onto the brick. And if there's mobility in the toes, you can curl the toes up the wall. If not, the whole of the foot's just flat on the brick there. Squeeze that narrow position of the brick between your knee and the wall. And then take your left leg out wide. Now it depends on your hips, depends on your strength as to whether you can take that foot wide enough 
that your right thigh comes parallel to the floor. So find out how wide can you create that stance between right foot and left foot. But plug that outer left heel down and notice is the pelvis tilting to the right side. Can you lift the right pelvic bone up? Roll the outer right hip and buttock down and see that the knee is tracking the same direction as the toes. Stretch the arms out, lift your chest up. Shoulders roll back and down. So here, both legs are strong. It's not just the strengthening of this right leg, but it's also the strengthening of this left leg. Left thigh presses back, left knee is straight. Then we can catch this brick as we come out of the pose, walk the left foot back in and we'll swap sides. Left foot up on your platform brick, left knee squeezes that narrow brick between the wall and the knee and we walk the right leg back. Take a long enough stride if possible to bring this thigh parallel to the floor and watch that sometimes the wider the stance goes the more the left side of the pelvis tilts to the left. Do what you can to lift the left pelvic bone up, lift the navel up and have a look at that knee. Is the knee still tracking the same direction as the toes? It should be because you're keeping the block there. You're keeping the brick there which helps to set the knee in place. Let's raise the arms, lift the chest up, roll the shoulders back and feel into how both legs are working. Both knees are strengthening. And get steady in your breath. And then to come out of the pose, hold the brick and you can shimmy the back leg in and step out of the pose. We'll do one more pose and similarly, we'll work with the bricks, but this time we're going to do Virabhadrasana number one. So let's step the right foot onto our platform brick and squeeze the narrow brick between the wall and your knee. And this time we'll face the wall, keep the back heel lifted. And as you take that left leg further back, find out if you can manage to bring your right thigh more parallel to the floor. Zip the navel up, lift the front pelvic bones, lift the chest and roll the inner left thigh back. Do your best to straighten the back knee, feel into the strength of both legs and if you feel capable take the arms up. Lift the arms but also lift the rib cage. Back of the pelvis down, away from the back ribs, back ribs up, away from the back of the pelvis. And exhale, arms down. Let's catch that brick and come out of the pose. We'll swap legs. Left foot on our platform brick, left foot, uh, left knee, squeezing the brick, right leg back. Take the leg as far back as you can manage bringing your left thigh more and more parallel to the floor. Internally rotate this right leg so the inner right thigh is rolling back. Lift the chest. Also lift the navel and the front pelvic bones. Establish a strong straight back leg. So observing the strength in both legs. And if you feel capable, take the arms up, lift the rib cage, particularly lift the back ribs away from the back of the pelvis. Steady your gaze, steady your breath. And then lower the arms, you can catch your brick and come out of the pose. There are numerous ways of strengthening the knees and these few poses that we practice today are a good help. That's it for today.
Thanks for joining me. For more in-depth teaching, check out the video library on my website, heatherkitchenyoga.com.au. The link is in the description box below.